Hi, I'm Alistair Hay and I help people get well and I help people stay well using homeopathic medicines. Uh, most of what I do is home visits and I do that in Hampshire, I do that in Surrey, I do that in West Sussex, I do that in South London. So a question I get asked quite a lot is how on earth do you go from being a pharmacologist to being a homeopath? That's completely different. It's like it's like going from one side to the other, completely different. And there's a few reasons. The first is, as much as I enjoyed being a pharmacologist, and I enjoyed the research I was doing, there was always this sense that I was working with bits of people rather than people. The models that you're using can't tell you how they feel or whether it's making a difference. The other thing is that you're kind of you're working in a capacity where other people that are trying to do the same thing as you are rivals. So I was sharing this lab with this lady who was researching something where, for a PhD and what actually happened was someone else in another lab in, in a different different establishment, in fact, an industrial establishment, found out what she was trying to find out before she did. So the funding for her PhD stopped. That's it. That's tragic. Why can't people work together to find out the ways in which you can help people get well again? That doesn't work in a pharmaceutical model because it's an industry. It's different to being the medical profession. We've got pharmaceutical industry. It's a race against each other to find what you need to find before anyone else. So you can patent it, so you can make lots of money on it. Some of that goes against what I believe in. Um, and of course I'd prefer people rather than bits of them. And another thing that I came across was, I'm just gonna put my business card down, was I've got this book. This is my pharmacology textbook dating back to 1992. Yeah, 1992. And in my second year, when I was doing my research, I came across the principles of how drugs act, general principles, and it has a, has a section on homeopathy. And what it says is this. Basically, it talks about the system rapidly drifting into absurdity. Absurdity. I can understand from a pharmacological perspective, homeopathy is actually absurd. But the thing is, when you see that written in a pharmacology textbook, from my perspective, I want to know more. I could find out nothing in the college library at King's College. So I went to the public library, which was on the King's Road. And there was a book called The Science of Homeopathy. And that book answered quite a few questions that I got that were not answerable from a pharmacological perspective. One of those things was we had a, a lecturer in the first year where he talked about it not really being a good idea to take something that reduces a fever like aspirin when you've got a fever because your body has produced that fever as a way to fight back, as to defending itself. So it's not a good idea to take something to reduce that under most circumstances unless it goes completely out of control. Wow. So I suppose, what if our body does that on all levels? Symptoms are defense, things aren't attacking us, we're actually responding to stuff. In the science of homeopathy, it answers those questions. It's like a light bulb moment for me. So I thought, do you know what, I fancy being a homeopath. And the other strange thing that happened was actually, um, I got the opportunity to do a psychometric analysis of my personality. And it came up with three jobs that suit my personality. One was a prison governor. One was working in PR. And the other one, homeopath. So fancy that. Something that suits my personality and something that sort of floats my boat. So for me, it was a career choice that you've got something that suits my personality And it's the nuts, for me at least. So I decided to retrain in, in, and be a homeopath. That was a long time ago. I started that course in 1993 
and I finished that in 1996. You can't study homeopathy in a weekend to be licensed, qualified and insured and all that sort of stuff. Three year full time course. So it was one hell of a leap. Um, I have no regrets in doing that. Um, and it's been and still remains an amazing career choice for me. So if you see all people today, think of Alistair Hay. Thank you.